Hello nomads, today I'm in Oaxaca city and um, I'm currently having some nieve which I actually really like uh, It's one of the things that I like the most about Oaxaca uh, It's amazing food and one of the amazing foods that it has is definitely ice cream um, This one is chocolate with almonds, so it's delicious and It actually reminds me a lot of a time well, of the time when I was living in Italy, like, um, it's funny because, um, um, I don't know, probably a lot of people don't think this way, but I see a lot of, like, similarities between Oaxaca and Italy, probably because of its, um, in the past it was colonized by Europeans and probably a lot of costumes, customs, um, you know, a lot of stuff that the Europeans used to do um, became ingrained in the culture of Oaxaca. And um, while the scenery is beautiful, um, you can say it we're surrounded by the mountains because Oaxaca is actually a valley. So um, there are multiple regions in Oaxaca and um, there are seven different regions and one of the regions is called Valle Centrales, which translates into central valleys. And, um, sorry, it's just, it's melting. And yeah, um, so there are multiple regions. Oaxaca is also, um, it's a very big state. There are more than, uh, almost 500 different municipalities in the state. It's actually the state with the most municipalities in Mexico. And I'm guessing, um, this decision of dividing the state in so many municipalities was um, made because uh, there are many different cultures, um, native cultures that are native from this state. So I guess the intention was to be respectful of the cultures of, of, uh, of the natives, of, of the original people that inhabited these lands. Uh, so that's how, um, yeah, that's that's how so many municipalities were born. And uh, I'm currently walking uh, towards um, Oaxaca Centro. Um, uh, I think uh, Oaxaca, well, Oaxaca is a city that has become very popular in the last couple of years, especially between Americans. A lot of people are retiring here. And um, yeah, I mean, um, definitely it's a very beautiful place. You can see there are in many cars right now on the streets. Uh, I'm literally like standing in the middle of the street. And um, yeah, um, just one second. So, um, sorry, um, I just uh, got interrupted because I had a call, but uh, flying back. Um, and yeah, I mean, um, definitely I would say that um, Another one of the things that makes Oaxaca very special, very special, it's their, it's traditions. It's definitely, I think, the most cultural state in all of Mexico. Year round, there are all kinds of celebrations. So, uh, for instance, something that's very popular about Oaxaca is um, Dia de Muertos. Um, people from all over the world uh, come and celebrate here. I mean, it's a very interesting mixture of different um, uh, cultural elements because, um, yeah, it's kind of like a mixture these days between Halloween and Day of the Dead. So a lot of people wearing costumes, a lot of people um, having fun and uh, also like locals and people from all over the world, um, they celebrate here and it's just really interesting to see. Um, Oaxaca, I, as I was saying, it has become very popular, especially among Americans. Um, as you can see, the constructions are very antique. Uh, there's a lot of history everywhere you look in this city. Uh, and I don't know if you remember earlier that I said that 
Oaxaca kind of reminds me of Italy. Um, I just remember that in Rome there are a lot of different churches. Like wherever you look at, there are lots of different churches. And that's also the case for Oaxaca. Like uh, there are churches everywhere. The food is delicious. Uh, and uh, one of the things I love the most is that the ingredients are, most of the ingredients, most of the stuff that people sell in the markets here is locally sourced. So it's very high quality stuff. Um, like um, the cheese, there are lots of different kind of, kinds of cheeses. Uh, if you go, for instance, to um, a place that's called Edle, you can find all sorts of cheese in there, all different varieties, like uh, aged cheese and also fresh cheese. Uh, and I don't know, in my case, I really love cooking pasta. So uh, a lot of the cheese that I use for my pasta, I actually can't find here and it's very cheap. Because if I, <laughs> yeah, like the ingredients are very cheap. Like if I try to make the same pasta in the States or in Canada or even in Mexico City, it's much more expensive. And uh, well, of course, if you're here, um, you will be wanting to, to eat um, definitely more stuff other than pasta. Um, like, like I said, uh, Oaxaca is known for its um gastronomic scene um a lot of very popular dishes a lot of, of dishes that are signature of, of the mexican uh, cuisine are from here so like uh, this is a beautiful alley that we're in right now you can see how there's like flowers everywhere and that's just a normal thing to see like everywhere look at that house right there um, it has uh, bougainvilleas and that's just a very popular house here and these right here used to used to be an aqueducto which was used you know to carry water from one end of the city to the other end of the city and uh, as I was saying like there's history everywhere uh, there are religious signs uh, everywhere you look at I'm gonna show you right now how there's like a cross, it's called Cruz de Piedra, and uh, of course, it's a, a symbol of Catholicism. Um, but yeah, I was talking about the the, the, the cuisine here. Uh, so, there are Tlayudas, which is like, well, people <laughs> like to call it, people like to say, look it, there's a cross right there. People like to say that it's um, like the equivalent of pizza but i think it's much better uh, i think i really love i really love both uh pizzas and layudas but uh i know at layudas just feel more more homely to me uh they, they remind me of home they remind me of uh family and uh i believe that's what oaxaca is all about uh, so if you're expecting to see like a lot of noise and a lot of things going on. Like there's not really much of a night life here, but there's definitely a lot of cultural stuff going on. So like if your stuff is like museums and dancing, but not in clubs and, um, and yeah, just traditions, definitely Oaxaca is the place to live in. Um, there's, um, yeah, also besides La Judas, I was talking about that. There is also, um, uh, <clears throat> well, all different, all different kinds of cheese. There's a lot of different meats, uh, tasajo, cecina. There is also, um, all different kinds of moles, uh, which a mole, it's kind of like some sort of curry that is Mexican. Uh, and it's also made out of, uh, a mixture of chili peppers and uh, different spices and it's usually eaten or enjoyed with, with a piece of chicken or meat and um, well uh, most of the moles from Mexico are from here um, they also have uh, all the different kinds of um, like uh, fried stuff 
like molotes and um, memelas, which is memelas, it's kind of like, it's like, like the base is, it's like a mini pizza, but like the base, the base is made out of corn, and then it has beans, and it has um, a fat that's called uh, asiento, which is actually made out of, uh, it's what, it's, it's a leftover after they make carnitas. That's what uh, the asiento is. And um, that's the fat they use to season the, the corn base. Then they also put uh, beans and, um, and some sort of meat or protein like um, like mushrooms or or chicken or, or, or anything like that I mean what really makes Oaxaca and cuisine special I think it's asiento I was just watching a documentary on Netflix the other day that's called um, fat acid salt and heat yeah you should if you if you if you like cooking you definitely should look at it uh, it's on Netflix and it bas basically explains how uh, the cuisine of each place is defined by one of these four elements or, the, or all of them. Uh, and in the case of Oaxaca, I think it's the fat uh, that they use, which is asiento. They use it for tlayudas, they use it for memelas, and they use it for a lot of different things. So if you go to any butcher here, you will find it. That, to be fair, that's more and uh, yeah. Uh, there's, there's just tourists everywhere, and right now it's not a very touristic, uh, you know, a, a very touristic season, but definitely you'll always find tourists. Not as many as in Mexico City, because Mexico City really has tourists uh, year-round, but, uh, and look, there's a church right there, so. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely churches everywhere. And this is actually the most symbolic church in all of Oaxaca, which is called Santo Domingo. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this street where I'm walking uh, right now, or corridor, is actually uh, the, the most important one in, in Oaxaca city. And um, yeah, like uh, a lot of very important stuff happens here. Like um, when, um, when it's time for the Galaguetza, all of the different people from all the different regions in the state come and parade here. So it's definitely one of the most symbolic streets in Oaxaca. And I think it's also uh, yeah, the most touristic one and the most symbolic one. And also personally, I think it's the most beautiful one. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're surrounded by mountains and yeah, I mean, it's just a very chill atmosphere. <clears throat> if you're wondering about the price of real estate in this city, I mean, um, there are some gems that you can, you can find for around $200,000. Uh, prices have recently definitely gone up. Uh, it's become more popular, some more popular among retirees. Uh, so prices have been going up for a little while now. Uh, but it just... You know, the same thing that I was telling you about in the last video. Um, if you are going to go live in a different country that's not yours, um, don't go and just gentrify, gentrify it. Like, uh, try to learn the culture and, uh, you know, try to interact with the locals and try to give something back to the community. Um, that's really my advice. Yeah, I mean, there are some gems that you can find for around. Look at this is the facade of the church. Uh, we, we're not there yet. That's like the convent. But yeah, I mean, there are some gems that you can find for $200,000. There are some other houses that you can find up to a million dollars. So it really depends. And as always, this is a museum right here. It's a... Uh, the Instituto de Artes Gráficas de Oaxaca, which is like um, Graphic Arts Institute of Oaxaca. And um, yeah, but my advice is, if you want to get some real estate here, 
uh, don't look just online uh, this is this is really impressive uh, you know I, I've, I've been to all kinds of churches and like every time that I come here like I become amazed so, uh, amazed so I'm just gonna keep you on hold for a little bit but I'm looking at it right now and it's mesmerizing uh, I'm actually gonna walk this way because the perspective is better from here and look at that so today is also a beautiful day with beautiful weather weather uh, the last couple days it has been raining because there's a hurricane going on right now but yeah I mean um, definitely a beautiful church I mean I personally think it's the most beautiful in Mexico. We're gonna go on the inside just so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, like I've been to a lot of different churches and very few churches have impressed me as much as this one. The interiors are actually covered in gold, like in actual gold. Uh, and this is a church from the Baroque period in Mexico uh, which is actually uh, it's actually um, usually represented by, by icons such as Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz and uh, many different artists when I was in Thailand this was like I went to Thailand, I was saying, I was like, yeah. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if they will let me record inside, so I'm gonna go check and then I'm gonna let you know. So I actually can't record, just not with flash. Um, but look at this, it's definitely impressive. Can you imagine, like, how much time they took to make all of this I mean for a second this is just so unreal tell me it's not one of the most beautiful churches yep. look at that So I'm gonna zoom in so that you can take a better look at all the details of this masterpiece. I honestly think this is the most beautiful church in Mexico. And I might be biased, but I think Oaxaca is the most beautiful city in all of Mexico as well. So the lights just went on. What a time to be here, right? When they turn on the lights. 